This is a level called Ambushed by Mages. But the thing about ambushes is that they don't work out all that well when they're devised by Ooga Booga Cavemen Brain. So we're actually gonna ambush the ambushers with explosions. Something tells me that they are not wearing bomb-proof loincloths and that this should be super effective. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, if everything goes according to plan, we should be able to finally beat the Legacy Faction and then take control of them to face off against every other faction in the game. But this is what I've been waiting for ever since the Legacy update dropped. But I say if everything goes according to plan, because as we learned the hard way last episode, it's a whole lot easier to say you're gonna beat a tank using sticks and stones than it is to actually do it. I want to say I've spent the better part of two videos trying to beat a tank, and the only thing we found any kind of success with was the ballista. Because if we have to use sticks, then they might as well be really big sticks. <laughs> like, if you get pierced by a telephone pole, it doesn't really matter what you are. You're gonna have a hard time getting up. But the problem is, we're gonna be shooting the cannon fodder in the front, which is not what we want. So maybe a bit of a 3v2 situation up here can have the farmers quickly dispatch of them. And then the enemy also has exploding barrels, and vampires, and da Vinci tanks. Like, I don't understand why they get non-legacy units. As if they don't have enough overpowered options as it is. And they've also got... guns? Wait, hold on a second. I don't understand why the musketeers are gonna charge at us. That seems like a mistake. It seems like it's about as strategic as their puffy shorts. Well, if that's the case, then I guess we could always meet them with some cactuses. The cactus can't be shot, and if you run into them, then prepare for a real sharp hug, I guess. I don't even know if the cactus can survive a tank blast. Might be useful. I'm pretty sure it can survive a cannon shot. Like, I, I just, there's no good strategy here, because if you go wide, like a bunch of really cheap units en masse, then they just get crushed. The tank drives over all of them, and it's really good at doing that. And if you go tall with a couple of really expensive units, then they get one-shotted by the cannon. So it's just, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And I gotta do something. <laughs> um, maybe we could back them up with some slightly larger units? It'd be hard to just drive over a Jarl, I would imagine. And then a, a couple of little piss ants in the front. <laughs> Yeah, sure, I think that's about as strategic as I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna take control of anything off the bat. I wanna see if we can actually beat this on our own. We seem to have the right target in mind. Come on, guys, hit the tank, hit the tank. Don't go for the flags, no! Hit the tank with tracks, not the one that spins! Oh, crap. That's not good. This isn't good. This is not good. We didn't sign up for a piggyback race. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Easier said than done. It really doesn't feel like we're getting enough bang for our buck out of the Yarl, so I'm gonna try replacing them with skeleton archers. You would think the Da Vinci's giant wooden Beyblade full of gunpowder would have a rough go against fire. But then again, this game isn't exactly totally accurate, and once again, I'm just gonna have to take control and guide you guys in the right direction because you're really not aiming for the important things. Are you seriously putting these shots in the dirt? Come on now, we got a tank to destroy. Please hit it. It's wreaking havoc on our skeletons, yes! Okay, that's a good start. Now, help your friends. Don't let each other get sucked. Oh no, no, that's bad, no! <laughs> that's not what I wanted at all. Oh crap, okay, I'm just gonna keep slowly backing away. Maybe we can take out a Da Vinci tank with a lucky shot. There's a squishy Da Vinci inside. That didn't do diddly squat. No, no, leave me alone. I'm allergic to bullets, please. Why are you so fast? God damn it. You know what, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I'm not gonna say this is a good plan, but it is definitely a desperate one. I'm gonna line up as many dead eyes as I can reasonably afford, real far away from the battle. I wanna give them as much time as possible to shoot these guys. And to buy them that time, we're gonna spend the rest of our money on bards. <laughs> An entire army of bards. They're really good at distracting, right? They're smart. 
not smart enough to avoid open warfare with a banjo and a feathered hat, but smart enough to run away from the enemy. It's pretty good, kind of. Okay, well, they are running and we are shooting. Can you guys please focus the tank? Come on. I know you guys can kill them. Oh, this is so brutal to watch. It's just like Tokyo drifting all over our team. It doesn't make any sense and his own team. Oh, we still got quite a few left over here, but not for long, choo-choo. I'm just so fed up with this friggin' tank. I swear to God, when I take control of this faction, if they don't give me enough money to use the tank all the time, I'm gonna shit bricks. It's gonna have to be the Ballista, because for some reason, Deadeye takes out the tank riders rather than the tank itself. But the Ballista is smart enough to actually shoot the vehicle. So we're gonna get even more of them and maybe the Reaper would be really useful? If we poke you down here, you would be able to take out everything except for the tanks. That, that That's really good. Now, what am I gonna use to distract the rest of them? No, it's not gonna be bards. I, I can't use bards again. I need something that'll actually fight, like the samurai. That should be better than any other unit in all reality because they can deflect the bullets. They're gonna get run over by the tanks real quick, but so long as the tank doesn't shoot. Oh, tank missed. That's a good start. I was gonna say, so long as he doesn't one-shot the Reaper right off the bat, then we might have enough time to hit it. Come on, Ballista, yes! Okay, our main threat is down. Now, you should have a free walk over to... Crap. Okay, well, it's up to you guys now. Come on, I believe in you. Just don't everyone shoot at that one flag, because that'd be a piss off. Oh my god. Why is Gandalf showing up with his boxing buddies? That's an entirely new problem. Why am I yelling? You guys can't possibly appreciate how pissed I am right now. I just want to move on. I want to take control of the new units for the love of God. I, I think the Reaper is a good idea, but I need to move him further back. He needs to join the fight after the tanks have been killed, which is the Ballista's job. So what are we going to use in the meantime? I don't have a whole lot of money. It might actually be the bird. Like if we spread them way out and just put them all over the place, then they might be able to buy enough time for the blisters to get multiple shots off. Fingers crossed. We'll deal with Gandalf later. In all reality, Gandalf is a one shot to the ballista. So we need to prioritize the tanks. Good, good. Okay, that's one tank. Now let's uh, let's take control of you real quick. You seem to be a bit of an idiot. You're aiming for the guys that are getting turned into Christmas ornaments rather than the giant tank. Come on, shoot again, shoot again. You can see the soft squishy insides. Help out your reaper. Yes. We hit it, oh, it still killed him, crap, okay. This isn't too bad, it's pretty bad. If I can pick off Gandalf and find some solace in knowing that I took out the enemy with me, what? There's just no accuracy here. You said shots sailing over the enemy. My dot is directly on where I want to shoot and it shot there, okay. We hit a, a couple of boxes and, and Gandalf, no, 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 no. <sighs> I don't understand. I know I've said in the past that we shouldn't fight in the graveyard because this is holy ground to the wobbly horse. But at the same time, there is no way the tanks are gonna be able to move around in here. They're absolutely gonna come in here and just get stuck like a stepsister in a washing machine. So we really have to try this. I'm thinking if we rain down hell, then maybe we can pull this off. Bunch of gunslingers that'll show up delayed. I don't want them here right away. We're gonna have painters here first, just guiding these idiots in. This would be the time where I really wish that I could have the banner bearer, but of course that's a legacy unit. Oh, what else could we use to hurt them? Maybe dragons? I feel like our dragons would get stuck here as well, which is good because we don't want them like moving around a whole lot. I want them to get in here and then just breathe fire into the graveyard. That's it. Maybe we could also use uh, musketeers. Yeah, I, I want guns. I, I want people to just hurt them from a distance. I 
think that might actually work. I keep saying that, but I don't have a whole lot of faith. Come on, you idiots. Get lured into my trap. I know you want to get stuck in here. Oh, this is actually working. This is exactly what I want. Breathe fire on them as they get stuck. They can't do anything. They can't run anyone over. Yes. Rain down bullets and fire. Yes. That's a couple of tanks down. Now we just need to deal with Gandalf and everything will be fine. Gandalf has to have an allergy to bullets like me, right? Come on, come on, so many bullets. This might actually work. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Wobbly Horse. All oh, praise the Church of the Wobbly Horse. Fallen warriors have come to help us again, right? I'm not speaking too soon, right? Somebody, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm at my wit's end, man. If that didn't work, I probably would have uninstalled the game. After an hour and a half of screwing around, the legacy faction is finally mine to take control of. Who's the one with sticks and stones now? This is a level called Ambushed by Mages, but the thing about ambush is that they don't work out all that well when they're devised by Ooga Booga Caveman Brain. So we're actually gonna ambush the ambushers with explosions. Something tells me that they are not wearing bomb-proof loincloths and that this should be super effective. Now, so long as our sharpened sticks are better than their sharpened sticks, then everything should come up Millhouse. Oh, this was actually a lot closer than I would have liked. Who would have guessed? It's just like this game to make the Legacy Faction unstoppable battle-hardened warriors when I'm facing off against them, and giant quivering wuss pusses when I'm using them. But fortunately, I think we're gonna be able to turn things around with a level called Angry Mammoth, where we've got a couple of Snuffies, some Chieftains, and unfortunately for them, that means I have enough money to use the tank. <laughs> Finally, I swear to God, I've used Snuffies against tanks in the past and they have done absolutely nothing. What? I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I've been losing my voice today, so I've been pounding back Listerine and Halls in between takes, but I cannot yell loud enough at my disappointment right now. I don't understand. Every single time I've used the tank, it's dummied a bunch of snuffies, but now it just gets run over. You should be able to shoot them in the taint and then have a merry day. Okay, there we go. We took out one this time. That's an improvement. Is it just the luck of the draw? Like, if I run this again, are you gonna kill both of them? Because. Like, I swear this game has the most ironic name ever. Nothing about it is totally accurate, except for that shot in the balls. And there you have it. It's just a giant fuzzy coin toss. Moving on to a level called Over the Bridge, where they've got a couple of bowl cut bros and some scythe sisters and the T-Pose bird monster. Great. <laughs> Don't have a whole lot of money to face off against them, but I do have enough for a wizard, which I've been wanting to try out. We don't have really many melee units in this faction, do we? Like, the boxer is good, but not particularly cheap, which could be a problem. I, I kind of want to try blow darts as well. Maybe we'll use a couple of them and a couple of poachers. I don't think I want to try the banner bearer yet, because the poacher doesn't have a very long range. I want them to actually get within range to kill the scarecrow, otherwise this is gonna be a bad time. That should take out quite a few things, okay. Get in there, boxers, just punch those birds. I, I know you're technically not allowed to hit below the belt usually, but this is a different kind of bird, so you have my permission. Good, great, <laughs> army's marching forward. We've just got the scarecrows. The scarecrow's like one of the most disappointing units in the game. I feel so much more relieved when they're the only thing left on the other side of the battlefield. I'd rather have an actual bag of hay. I may regret saying that yet, because they're back in greater numbers, and this time they've brought flanking wheelbarrows, which is the name of this level. Three wheelbarrows are gonna surround me, huh? Well, I, I can't imagine a wheelbarrow can survive an exploding barrel, right? Like, these three units should take out nine enemies, then we just need to deal with the bag of hay and the birds. Uh, I kinda wanna try the banner bear. You know, 
it should get a job done. We're gonna make it so that the barrel can keep rolling, but be something like blow darts in place. Oh, even though I don't know if they're gonna be able to reach the birds. I wanna have a contingency plan. No, we're gonna put down a couple of pikemen as well. Because they can definitely one shot. Okay, yeah, something like that. I, I feel pretty confident about this. Okay, we killed all the riders, but the steroid Bob Ross has decided to keep on trucking and absolutely demolished us. I guess I'm just gonna eat my words or eat crow as the saying goes. Let's upgrade that to two barrels each and then I kind of want to rush at them. You know, like they're kind of quickly running at us. What if we quickly run at them? We could uh, toss down nothing but pikemen and then just charge our way towards the birds. Maybe, possibly. Would you guys take care of the wheelbarrows real quick? No? Oh my god, there's so many birds. Why are there so many birds? What is happening? I would imagine a poacher has some experience shooting small birds. Maybe something like this will help me out. We have way more units, which means that the birds should be less effective, but you guys need to shoot something. You gotta shoot something, come on now. They're taking out like a couple of the wheelbarrow units, but not really because they're getting run over. Even Bob Ross is just left running around throwing right hooks, oh my god. Did, did they even throw a single bird? I think they just watched. This is physically painful. I have to be able to beat them. I'm gonna try a couple of Gandalfs. They should be able to one-shot just about anything, but then they're gonna need backup, and it's gonna be a lot of poor backup. All the peasants are gonna kinda ring around and just hopefully buy Gandalf some time. There we go, that's the good stuff. No, that's, that's not the good stuff. Please get back up. I don't care if you broke yet, you get your arm back in place. Busted shoulders don't matter, yes. I, you know what, I think the peasants actually won this. Are the birds broken? They're not throwing birds anymore. Weird. Was that a glitch? I'll take it. Next up we have a level called Swords and Archers, which seems fair enough. I mean, like, if you took tabs and boiled it down to its simplest form, this would be it. So let's complicate things with some explosions. I'm, I'm pretty sure we could take care of all the melee units that way. And then you guys have been telling me in the comments that the poachers are way better than the archers because they're cheaper and they have a faster fire rate but do almost as much damage. So if I line up a bunch of poachers, then we should have the better army. Yeah, now it's just archers versus poachers. Okay. Yeah, they've got the range, so they can make it rain pain real quick, but we've got the fire rate. It's coming down to the wire, but I think we got it. You know what, I wanna try a slightly different strategy. The barrel roller was perfect. We don't need to change that, but I'm thinking if we lay down a bunch of peasants to take care of that first volley, then we could rush at them with our ranged units. Not something you would typically see, but I'm really interested in seeing if you can delay your attacks that way. Would it come in handy? Now they shoot. Okay, the peasants are down and the peasants are rushing. Get in there, guys. And all of the poachers survive this time. So this would be a really useful strategy later on when there's something more than the archers. Like If they had other units coming up behind the archers, we would survive a, a lot better. Moving on to a level called Kings and their Catapults. And again, I'm not gonna ask why there are two kings. This is not really a problem in my book. The problem is the catapult, because we are confined to tight quarters. So maybe we should just rush them? I could use the strategy that I just came up with. You know, back them up with the Gandalf, who should be able to take out a king, I would hope. Then, the thing is, rushing is great, but usually you would want to rush with melee units. We don't really have melee units. I mean, we could try with peasants. I just feel like this is stupid. <gasps> I wouldn't have expected to wake up today and make Gandalf run into battle with a bunch of peasants, but here we are. I can't even fit them. There isn't enough space. You know what? I I'm just gonna put a couple barrel rollers back here and they can bring a whole bunch of fun later on. <laughs> They're the contingency plan. Oh, we're gonna need the contingency plan, all right. Uh, could you guys maybe blow up on the enemy? No? 
Yeah, it turns out Gandalf can't take out the king and neither can their archers. Apparently someone's gonna get fired. To no one's surprise, the peasants aren't worth a cramp. Let's try boxers because I mean, they're pretty big. I've been kind of impressed with them in the past. Hopefully they can get in there before getting shot. Oh, that catapult hurts so much. And then the kings are being healed by priests. I got nothing here. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. I would keep trying to beat this level, but I honestly don't know how much longer I can speak for. My throat hurts so much, but I'm looking forward to returning to this and hopefully taking down the rest of the campaign and being able to yell at the stupidity again. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and I'll return to get my comeuppets on the two kings. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.